I always get so excited when I go to my clients' houses and they have a tray. I know, it doesn't take very much to get me excited. <laughs> These are the things you live for, people. These are the things you live for. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and today's video is all about the coffee table. It is definitely one of my favorite places to style up. I love when I get to go and style a home, whether it's for a client who is selling or someone who is decorating their home. I love decorating the coffee table and I love decorating my own. I'm always trying to create an elevated high-end feel, but I really want to also bring in our travels and adventure and for it to feel like an extension of who we are. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. If that is something that you think you'll enjoy, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we do not want you to miss out. This is just one of many videos and we're gonna start sharing so much more about the adventures that we're taking. Trust me, you wanna hit subscribe. There's a bunch more styling and adventure coming up very soon. So let's just jump straight into today's video. So let's talk about the things that we need to get started. The number one thing is that you really have to be wise about choosing the right coffee table. Everybody's on a budget. Everybody's on a budget. Even people who have millions of dollars in the bank have a budget, I promise you. I work with people like that all the time. They have budgets too. Everybody's got one. So most of us, no matter where we are in that spectrum, have high-end taste, we know what looks good, we have a sense of what looks expensive, and we're having to hunt for it. So some of my tips for doing that are, look for the materials that are natural. Those are the ones that typically are the most expensive. So materials like wood and marble, iron, um, let's see, what else? I said wood, iron, I made a list. I should probably pull the list out. <laughs> Okay, you know what I mean. Granite, marble, all of these high-end materials typically cost a lot of money, but that doesn't mean that you have to bust your budget with them. Really having an eye for what looks good will really help. The coffee table that I chose for my own family room is marble and it has metal legs and it has a really high-end look, but it's actually really affordable. It came from West Elm. I did a little bit of a, a little hack because I pushed two of these together to give the look of a really large table. So that's just another little extra hack if you're wanting to make it look really high-end and expensive. If you have one massive piece of marble, that's definitely gonna cost you a lot more than two that are broken up. So little hacks like this will definitely save you some money and give you that high-end feel. I also suggest looking around at places like overstock.com, look on Wayfair. A lot of times they're giving you the designer discount on these websites and you're getting them close to a wholesale price. So those little tips and tricks should definitely save you some money. Now, if you're shopping in person and I, and it, well, let's, before we move on to that, let's talk for one more second about online shopping, how to get that high end look as you're shopping for a coffee table online, because let's face it, a lot of us are doing more online shopping now than ever before, right? Make sure you really watch the reviews. Listen to what people say who've received it. You'll be able to tell. Sometimes people put a one star on there and they have nothing on there and it doesn't help you out. Read the reviews and see what people say. And if they love it, they say it looks really high end, then you'll feel better about taking that chance because Trust me, I'm like you. I don't want to have to return. I don't want to have to return furniture if I don't have to. So if you decide that you're going to go and shop in person, you can find great items at places like Target and Walmart. You guys know from our recent video that we absolutely love going to Home Goods, and we find all kinds of great stuff at Home Goods as well. But no matter where you're shopping, in order to get that really great high-end look, you want to make sure that the materials are authentic whenever possible. And if that is outside your budget, then you wanna make sure that the faux marble that you're buying looks as close to real marble as possible. And it's funny because fake wood sometimes is actually more expensive than the real stuff, but typically you'll want to try to spend as much as you can on your piece 
And sometimes you just look out, you find a really great piece like this one that's really affordable, it's made of marble, and boom, you're just done. The next question that my clients always ask me is, how do I actually style the coffee table? I mean, that's probably why you clicked on the video, right? You didn't want to just talk about the coffee table itself. I mean, that's fun, but let's talk about the stuff because the stuff is what makes it so much fun, at least to me. If you guys have hung around this channel for very long, you have seen many, many versions of my coffee table. <laughs> You've seen this coffee table move from room to room. You've seen the coffee table come and go. We've had wood ones, we've had marble ones. I just think it's a blast. I really just love styling up the coffee table. So I wanna to talk to you today about some of the things that I think are absolute essentials to styling your coffee table and getting this really great high-end look just like this. So let's rewind a minute and talk through how we created this look. When you're styling up your coffee table, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you start with a blank canvas. Take absolutely everything off your coffee table. So step number two is starting to style it. And you can go about this two different ways. The first thing you can do is to pull the whole room together and then you've got your coffee table. That'll be the final piece that pulls it all together. Or you could do it the opposite way and style your coffee table first and then style your fireplace or your bookshelves or maybe your TV that's there. It just depends on your room, what you've got. But either way, start with the blank canvas on your coffee table, empty everything off, and then go from there. I always get so excited when I go to my clients' houses and they have a tray. I know, it doesn't take very much to get me excited. <laughs> These are the things you live for, people. These are the things you live for. <laughs> it's a great tray. I got this one at Crate and Barrel. Oh, it doesn't have the price on it. I think that it was around maybe $30 somewhere around there. They also sell these styles at West Elm and they're very affordable. So I suggest having a tray. Everybody needs a tray. Now, of course, I like Scandinavian design. I like things that are really modern, which you can tell based on the coffee table that I have chosen. I like things that are very clean lined, very simple. I'm really going through a very minimalistic phase like so many of you or just like get everything out of the house. So having a tray will do multiple things for you. First of all, it will give you a very clean look to your table. It will also corral items, which again, makes it feel very clean and very simple. And it will also make it feel like there's not, things aren't just floating out in space on your table. It kind of just pulls things kind of together. Get a tray and make sure your tray shows your personality. Clearly this one has mine, but you might want one that is a basket, or you might want one that's made of wood, or you might even want one that's made of metal. Gold, oh, I have a couple gold ones in my stash. My clients are always asking to keep the trays that I bring, so I tend to have a stash of them because every time I take one, they're like, oh my gosh, don't move the coffee table. I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna leave it just like that. So my secret weapon, a tray. Once you have your tray, biggest question is what to fill it with. Now there are a few things that you can fill it with, but I personally love to fill it with maybe some really amazing magazines. I love when my clients have back issues of maybe Pottery Barn or Restoration Hardware. I started collecting these um, L Decoration Country. They're technically magazines, but they're like books to me. And um, you can actually get them at Barnes and Noble, but these are like a prized possession. And I love looking back to them. So one thing to think about is the front cover is really important. So I'm kind of going for this lighter, airier feel in here, but you can see that if I decided to go for a darker, smokier kind of feel, I might put this one on top. 
So think about the top cover of whatever book or magazine that you're putting in here. Make sure it's something that you really enjoy and try to give it an elevated look. Those catalogs from those stores are free, but you can also do these and they're about, mm, I think they're less than $20. I think they're about $20 a piece. Go look at Barnes and Noble if you can though. I, it's hard to find them on Amazon, but oh, they're my favorite, I do love them. See, I do have a little bit of a country girl still in me. <laughs> Next up, I've got one of my home goods finds, which is this amazing grapefruit, white grapefruit candle by Design Studio. It smells so good. It's really, really light. It just makes the room feel really fresh and fragrant. And if you watched my home goods video, you will see I was looking for the really big candles. I think size does matter. <laughs> size does matter. <laughs> Having a larger scale piece on your coffee table will keep it from feeling really busy. And sometimes a lot of little things, visually that reads as less expensive. I don't know why. I have no idea why that's a thing. Maybe because the bigger one costs more money. I don't know. But um, having a bigger version of whatever candle you like will help it feel more substantial and will really fill out your space. Even if you just have a small coffee table, it is okay to still have a nice big candle on it. I'd like to find the ones that are even bigger than this. I'm gonna keep my eye out for those. But I also think another fun thing is to have a really great way to display your matches. I almost bought the one that they had at Crate and Barrel. It was so cute. It's this smoky glass with the little matches in it. I am such a sucker for these things. It's the smallest things like these that makes the table feel, first of all, utilitarian. I need to actually like this baby, right? So it is functional, but then it's also just like, you've actually really thought through all the details and I think it makes it feel really fun and it gives a sense of adventure, I think. Like the magazines are from the UK, this is from Home Goods. we've searched and found this at a cute shop in Atlanta, like all those kinds of things. It just has a sense of adventure to me. I think it's really fun. I'm gonna pop these on the table. Next up is coasters. I have so many different kinds of these. I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to this. Like, I just get so excited about the smallest things and coasters are just such a fun way to display a little bit of personality for almost no money. And I think putting them in the tray is a great way to keep it from the table from not feeling super busy. You've kind of corralled it. And usually when I'm staging other people's houses, I put the TV remotes in the tray and it just makes it feel kind of neat and pulled together. And the husbands love it because they don't have to look for the remote. But I make my husband look for ours. <laughs> I'm in it. I put ours with the TV, which still does not have a location in this room yet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get these on the table. <laughs> Okay, next up, we've got coffee table books. Now, I don't believe in owning books that you would never want to read. So I think having something that interests you, really is, this is how you show your personality. It's not just about, are you farmhouse? Are you Scandinavian? Are you boho? Are you modern? Are, none of that stuff matters. I can tell what you're interested in based on the kinds of books that you buy. So. I think, that, I think that this is a great way to display your personality and actually have books out about subjects that you're really interested in. I think that these kinds of things are what make your home feel like an adventure even when you're inside of it. It's a little bit like you're getting to explore and things are meant to be touched and opened and there's this feeling of exploration even inside of your house. So I take that always a little bit further and I always open the book to a page that I think has something really pretty inside of it and really goes with my look. These are some of my favorite that I really actually look through and enjoy. I think that's a great way to spend my money. But if you're looking for something, go to Goodwill, ask your neighbors, swap with somebody. I mean, that's what this is all about. It's creating something that you really love and the adventure of creating it. That's half, that's half the fun. I'm just gonna say, I think that's all the fun actually. <laughs> all right, let me get these on the table. Ooh, don't forget, leave one open to your favorite page. Thank you. 
Okay, we're winding down and we've got a few last little things. I have this beautiful coral because we are still in summer and I've already started to daydream about what my fall table is gonna look like and I can't wait. <laughs> I know, I know. No one should get this excited about a coffee table, but I do, I really do. It's so much fun. So right now it's summer and I am not letting go of summer. I do not care that the kids are starting school on Monday. I do not care. I do not want to hear about it. I'll think about it on Monday. Until then, it's summer. <laughs> There's still going to be some coral on my table. Maybe even for a couple more weeks. September 1st fall will make an appearance. Wow, I really should hurry up and get this video live, shouldn't I? <laughs> but either way, I think finding a beautiful piece of coral, I actually found this one at Home Goods, and I just thought that it was really pretty, very authentic looking. And one of the things that I think is really important about a coffee table, not only, yes, you want a high-end look, you wanna make sure the objects that you put on there look really high-end, all that kind of stuff. One thing that you really need to think about with all the objects, it with all the objects, is that they have a 360 factor to them. So whether someone's sitting on the sofa over here or the chair over here, or they're walking in from this direction or in from that direction, the table doesn't feel like it's facing one thing. You really want it to feel like it's a 360 degree experience, no matter where you walk around it. So objects like these are perfect. All right, last item. Whew. Okay, <laughs> I really believe that the most adventurous thing is to be able to go and explore at different stores, shop on different places online, and just to see what's out there. I'm just one of those people that I just find such pleasure in looking at all different places. And I found this really cool textured planter at Pikes. So not only do they sell this amazing little Chefalera, yes, Chefalera Arbicola. Could you guys ask me all the time um, what this plant is? Uh-oh, where are you guys going? Going up, up, up. <laughs> Don't leave me now, we're almost done. <laughs> okay, I've put down this little plastic liner to keep it from, when I water it, from going through the little hole because this is definitely an outdoor planter. That's why it's so cool and why it's so heavy <laughs> because it's real and it's made of real, I guess, stone. I don't know, but it's really, really cool, right? And that's what makes it look so awesome. So add plants as an element on here. Look for cool, high-end materials in unexpected places. I'm gonna set this thing down before my arm breaks, but I guess it's a good, I'll do my bicep workout with it. to sit down here, have a snack, play with his cars. So I do not overload this so coffee Landon. table. Yes, I know. <laughs> and, and Landon, he likes to have snacks here too. <laughs> so create a coffee table that suits your family and your lifestyle and something that you really enjoy. That's the way to a rich life. Don't forget to um, visit us at Instagram, Facebook, and houseofvalentina.com. That's right, high five. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I thought that was my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. There's coffee on the coffee table. <laughs> There's a lot of coffee on the coffee table. And there are a couple cookies, although a couple may have been harmed in filming. <laughs>